Well, new radiator's in. Waiting for the upper cover to come in so I can secure it, but I'm going to go ahead and hook the battery back up and give it a test fire to make sure that the thermostat here, well, not the thermostat, the thermostat works, but the uh, thermocouple is actually kicking the fans on at the right temperature and time. To do that, I've got this fancy dancy little thing here. It tells me the temperature of stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a test fire and see what happens. in here. Oh no, it's sucked way down. Alright. Time to add a little more. Better not have sent me a bum radiator. It's coming out of the fins area. like steam. Fans are on. Weight 82. definitely working but man do they draw some juice this is 
are soft but not hot. This is my way of bending this hose back into shape rather than having this damn thing all the way over here. Just about rubbing on everything. Okay, so the idea, since we have no way to add a mount onto this thing, since the mount we bought is not even remotely close to working, and this is a 79 Caprice that they don't make anything for, we're gonna take a stainless steel L bracket. It's gonna mount like that on this area here. So in order to get it proper, we've got to cut out right below this eyelet and then mount it onto this. I need to check that sizing. Is that the right size? Ooh, it actually is just almost the right size. So we won't have to cut much of that off. But we'll use these existing holes here and that'll hold the top pretty well. Then I can get rid of my wonderful little red cable here. So slice here, round it off, give it a pretty look, kind of like it has right now, and we'll be good to go. So our shop is an absolute disaster because we haven't had time to clean it. So we can use a grinder. We can't use that bit because that will not cut very well at all. So, I'm going to pop that off there real quick. Get into one of our other handy little dandy drawers here. This might open up once. That's a pretty good wheel, too. Oh, there's one. All right. You can use a cutoff wheel. Big difference, I'm sure that all the viewers already know, but let's just show the boys the difference. This one's a grinding wheel, see, it says grinding wheel, cut off wheel. That way it'll cut through the metal much more smoothly. Yeah. Can I go on YouTube? Switch that guy down there. I hope not everything falls off. There we go. And then we can go over there. We're all going to get a set of these wonderful little earplugs here. Safety glasses. Teach the boys something correctly for once. And then we'll template it to the next one. What we're going to do is make sure all the eye protection is on. We're gonna go right here. Since we got the first one done, you come over here. See, it's cut button shorter. I'll just line this one up. And we'll give it a little bit of a template here. I didn't cut very square, did I? You can tell by looking at that, I didn't cut square at all. So then we're going to take this one out of the vise. Put this one back in the vise. Close my drawer before I forget. Yes. Okay, so now we got 
these two should be fairly close and you can see they're even uh, matched with the damn offset so we're gonna grind some edges on them now just to try and make them look pretty and I'll try to match them up then <laughs> Not perfection, but it should do the job. We'll just have to drill that hole out a hair bigger. Let's go out and test fit it. What do you think? I'm gonna look for the clearance from this here with the bolt. Look at that. See the open air there? That'd be good. So then we'll go ahead and we'll end up moving this one over to here. It'll actually sit the radiator forward a little bit but it'll work nicely okay I'm gonna make these holes just a little bigger that way I don't have to fight them with the bolts we're gonna need to put in there but I think mom took my regular drill so we're gonna use an impact drill which is not the ideal thing for this Yeah, I don't have the right, <laughs> right bit for stainless, that's for sure. Yeah, we might just have to make do as it is because that bit barely even touched that. Well, let's get something going on here. Let's see if we can, see if we can get it. There's this here as a support. Mm -hmm. Safety first, third, fourth, whatever. Yeah. Just hope that's enough. Then we gotta go find bolts that fit the car. And we're gonna use some uh, self-tapping screws to go through the radiator. Dad! So this is what I initially wanted to put on there. And unfortunately for me, I drive eclectic cars. So nothing lines up. If you come over here, you'll see that these two bolts here in the middle line up. These bolts are way off center, and they would actually, this one would go right through this portion here, and this one would be about the same. But then it's got these four differently placed holes here, where those wouldn't line up anywhere. I'd have to drill holes anyway, so rather than ruining a perfectly good piece we're just gonna go with these here things and there you can record me destroying my first radiator so maybe that one go there and I need some stainless bits pretty bad just gonna push it further back than I want I like it to ride kind of close. But, uh, they ain't a little long enough, are they? No, yeah, they are. We will know if we uh, do something wrong, because it'll start leaking immediately, and I didn't grab a bit. I don't want it all the way down. So. You know, a wise man would probably drill pilot holes and do all this fancy stuff that this dumbass ain't gonna do. I'm gonna just hold it up just a hair. 
Bing. I don't see any leaks. No. So that means I didn't go into the core. Let's see. That should, after moving this, it'll line up just about exactly like that. So, that isn't too bad of an angle. If I don't like it, I can always drill a hole between these two and suck it back in where I had it with this. What's that going to do? This holds the radiator in place. Oh. We're going to make two more so that we can go here and here. And then we'll bolt them all together. I should actually find the bolts for this now since I got these holes here open still. Let's go find some bolts, boys. These are the original bolts that I took off of this car many, many moons ago. I don't believe I took any of the bolts out of here though because I don't think it had a support on the radiator. I think it was just zip tied in when I bought the car. Yeah, everything in here is either way too big or way too small. Though. It just slides right down in there. That was an important anyway. All right, we're back on the hunt. No, Probably gonna bite me in the butt, but I found some. Oh no, they don't work. I guess I don't have to worry about it biting me in the butt. They look like the right kind, but uh, they're not. Back on the hunt. All right. Nope, that's too big too. Okay, we got one more thing of bolts that we can go look at, and other than that. I have to go to the store. My metric bolts are missing. And those slide right down in there too. Damn it. Yeah, if I can't find those metric bolts, then uh, we're running back into town. So we'll get back at you later. We went to town and got a couple of bolts. We kind of cheated. We found out that this one is actually just right. So, it's dead to eat that one. <laughs> we're gonna try this here. Oh, I can't get through there, can I? Nope. I'm gonna have to drill it bigger. Well, of course that we need sucks. it. Okay. Means I gotta go get a better bit and uh, see if I can get through stainless. So, until next time. <laughs> Next video, it'll show this just assembled because uh, drilling through stainless is not exactly easy. And I gotta go find my good drill and my good bits and everything. So, stay tuned. And like and subscribe. And get 24,000 subscribers. Okay, so we're changing my mind. I'm gonna wind up using these files. And seeing if I can file these down a little bit. I lost the boys to video games, so let's see if this works here. Seems to work better. There we go. Voila. It didn't take too long. Now we just have to see if this fits. And it's so much fun doing stuff single handedly. There we go. Look at that. 
sweet. I'll do that to that one and give a video of the final product. Alrighty. <clears throat> That this is helping the view any, but whatever. Let's try it. tool for the battery this is actually the right size for this I'm missing that it actually feels solid and uh, it's going to take me longer to get the damn red wire out than it took to assemble all that. <sighs> Having somebody actually help with a video recording is so much better. Because then it doesn't look all hacked and chopped like I'm doing right now. Gonna remove that before I put everything together and I could take it all apart, but uh, where would the fun be in that? All right, you know, all these extra parts, tools, and everything laying around out here, all at the mercy of the carport. But I'll put another one here to there. The one there to there. And I'm probably going to change out these screws. Drill all the way through and put bolts in now that I rethink it. But we'll see. Well, after repeating the same process for the inner two, we now have a very solidly mounted radiator. So, hopefully, it won't move. Doesn't look all that bad either. I mean, from the side, they look bent, but it'll work. 